similar bowls. One has them just a little bit bigger. Then we got these raised bowls just to keep them tidy and everything together. You're really not raised that far. Well, Cooper stopped eating. He'd come up, he'd pick, and I thought he was getting sick. So one day I put his bowl in his pen that he doesn't use very often, his X pen. And he uh, got one down his food. So today was like the third or fourth day and he refused to eat his food. And rather than put it in the pen, I just put it on the ground and he's gobbling it down. Cooper was acting weird today. He was out of sorts. He was walking around and I realized our indoor cat got away. So, Cooper has located him under the house. And he is none too happy. He's saying, cat, you're an indoor cat. Cooper, come here. Come here, baby. Cooper, come here. Let's, let's not do that. Let's not go under there. Mama will kill both me and the cat if you get a habit of going under there. Cooper, come here. Can you touch? Cooper, touch. Good touch. Good touch. So, I was looking at the list of tricks to get AKC titles, and one of the ones they give credit for is something called touch. Just have them touch your hand. And I thought, what a dumb trick. Um, why do I want them to touch my hand? Basically, you could hold a treat down and say treat, and what's, what's the difference? But touch is suddenly, um, Cooper's best command. For, for months, I would have to walk down, have him roll on his belly, pick him up to get him to come in the house. But, with this, Cooper, touch! Good. Here you go. Good. So a former co-worker gave me this. And when she gave it to me, I thought, well, that's a silly way to teach the weed poles. But it's one of the greatest things I've ever run across. Nylon with holes in it 19 inches apart and stakes. You start out with the stakes facing off to the side. So a dog just has to walk through the middle. And then you gradually bring them up. See, my finger is acting like a steak, just a big steak. So in the end, they learn to weave. Hey, Cooper, walk it. Walk it. Good. Hey, Coop. Can you show everybody your haircut along with Molly's? Here. There's Molly. Oh, Harper's trying to get into it. You didn't get your haircut. You're an imposter. Only Molly. You look good. How about you? So Mr. Cooper is none too happy with what's going on today. It's a time for celebration and it's a time for lost youth. Okay. We've taken down his X pin because he is pretty much proving himself that he's house trained at six months. Mama got this new stand up workstation that dad suggested and ordered and set up. So that kind of cut into his space. But it opens all kinds of possibilities. One, Jilly can get into his private crate, and he doesn't like that. Saying, Jilly, the crate's not here, the X-Men isn't here, but the crate is mine. 
Oh, look at this.